Hi guys, so I'm really proud to announce that this is my 100th video over on rookiecook.org so I thought I'd celebrate and kick back with a nice relaxing cocktail. This one's called Summer in the Garden and it's so nice and sweet. It's really like lemon meringue pie in cocktail form. It's so good. Start off with two martini glasses or coupe glasses and stick them in the freezer for about five minutes just while you make up your cocktail. Then take a really big jar or anything else with a lid. You can use one of those cocktail shakers if you like. I have one, but it always leaks, so I'm just using this jar. And to that, I'm going to add 90 milliliters of gin. Some nice gin, not the cheap stuff. Next, measure out 30 milliliters of limoncello and add that to the jar as well. Next, measure out 75 milliliters of simple syrup and add that to the jar too. Then I took this shop-bought lemon curd, but if you want to make your own, I'll put a link to my lemon curd recipe in the description below. And I added three generous teaspoons of it to the jar too. Now, the next ingredient might be a little bit controversial for some people. It's one raw egg white. If you don't want to eat raw egg white, then just leave it out. The cocktail will be just as nice without it, but the raw egg white will make a really, really nice foam when it's all shaken up. This cocktail will be shaken, but it's no harm to give everything a little bit of a mix first. Now, just before you shake this up, you're going to add a good handful of ice cubes. Now, just screw the lid on really, really tightly and shake it really, really vigorously. Just consider this your cardio for the day. You want to keep shaking until that egg white forms a really, really smooth foam. Now, just take any other receptacle and pour the cocktail through a fine mesh sieve into this jar in this case to catch all the ice and any maybe unshaken up bit of raw egg. Then pour it back into the original jar or cocktail shaker for one last shake up. Now finally for garnish, you're going to take a lemon or an orange and with a vegetable peeler just peel off a bit of the zest. These will go on the rim of the glasses to give a really citrusy smell. So take out your now frosted martini glasses, give the cocktail one last shake up, and then just fill each glass by pouring it through a fine sieve again. Now just garnish both those glasses with those little bits of zest and enjoy, just tuck right in. So that's it, thanks a million for watching guys and thanks for watching all my other videos as well. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on social media. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below as well as the link to my blog where you'll find the full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.